can't make the whole of society work. It was a plea for a return to the other side of politics. But, the, but in a way, the, the committee that were having a go at me was right, because actually many people out in the wide, wide world didn't see it like that. They thought, that, they phrased it, they told me it did very good, gave me some awards, but told me that actually what I'd done was make a series that told, said that science was bad. And what I realized at that point is that what you say is not necessarily what people hear. And I go back to how do you break through the scenery? How do you get through the stories, or the almost a template of the stories that are in people's minds? What I then, I'm going to jump on to 2001. I made a series, what I wanted to do, I made a series called Century of the Self, which was about consumers. I long wanted, I had long wanted to do a thing about consumerism, because I said consumerism was intimately related to power. I mean, uh, but I also knew that consumerism was in, in all our minds. Not only did we shop, but we thought we knew about it. It was a thing in our minds. It, it, you know, it's a thing in my mind, it's a thing in all our minds. What I wanted to do was find a way of telling it as a history that you pulled back and you looked at it in relationship to the shape, to the way politics and the exercise of power has changed over the last 100 years. Knowing full well that you had to find a new way into people's minds. And I'm not talking about being manipulative, I'm talking about being imaginative. I stumbled on this story, which I thought was absolutely fascinating, that Sigmund Freud's nephew in America,